Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to go over what goals I have for the start of phase two and how I am preparing. How you prepare depends purely on yourself, and at my heart, I am a raider. I'll be rushing to 40 as fast as possible to make the first lockout of Nomer. After that, I'll be looking to get my full pre-raid vis, get my profession sorted, and start doing a bunch of fun solo content. In order to make achieving these things possible, I have made a list of things to accomplish before the start of phase two. I hope a few of these things on the list end up helping you. Number one, full quest log. Like I said before, I am rushing to 40 to make sure I do not miss a raid lockout. I'll be looking to have a full quest log completed. I level to 25 via AoE grinding, so I have a majority of elite and dungeon quests still ready to turn in, including most of the stockades quest. Omega shout out to Keck Filet. He has a spreadsheet that breaks down an insane quest turn in route for launch day. Right now he has it estimated over 94,000 experience for turning in all of this. He has a super in-detail guide over what to do for this on his YouTube channel. You'll find a link to the spreadsheet, his channel Keck Warcraft, and his video below. I'll 100% be doing this at the start of phase two. Number two, planning my route and grabbing flight paths. My plan is to sit in stockades for as long as possible, probably until level 30. After that though, my route is currently up in the air. I'll be planning as much as I can beforehand by watching AoE mage leveling guides from the 30 to 40 range. As long as I get ahead of the pack via stockades, a lot of the open world leveling farms should be pretty good XP per hour, especially on a realm like Chaos Bolt. Speaking of Chaos Bolt, I'll be releasing a video soon talking about this realm, and why you should maybe re-roll here before the start of phase 2. Make sure you subscribe so you'll get notified when it comes out. Thanks. With Season of Discovery, you never know if things are going to change on the fly. In order to be prepared for everything, I am making sure I have all the flight paths for the 25 to 50 range. It was really painful and a lot of deaths, but this will save me massive amount of downtime running around during leveling. Number three, finish my character. Right now, there are quite a few things my mage is still missing, and I'm not just talking about full raid best in slot. This was my second character to 25, so I haven't bothered leveling cooking or fishing yet. Because I AoE leveled, I have yet to hit honored with any of the major reps for the 10% discount. I am also still missing rank 3, which provides an additional 10% discount. While these are simple goals, these are all important things I am looking to have done before the launch of the phase. If you aren't revered with the Warsong rep from Ashenville yet, I would recommend hitting revered as well. Number 4. Stockpiling consumes. This is a simple one, but obviously the more things you have by the start of the phase, the better. Some of these are going to make my leveling experience smoother, others are to try and make some gold at the start of launch. Here are a list of things I am planning on having by launch. 1,000 gold. This is to be able to afford mounts for my mage and warrior, as well as being able to purchase any important pre-raid bis I may want. Full 14 slot bags. Enough silk and ore to jumpstart leveling, tailoring, and engineering. Life root. This is for reselling at launch. Life root is going to be a fantastic gold maker, I bet. MP5 and crit mage scrolls. Engineering grenades and potions. I already have a bank alt set up where I have started to stockpile a lot of this. We will see how much I can get done before phase 2. Heavy dynamite is pretty massive for the Starcades farm. I'll be making sure I have lots of this saved up, as well as potions. Now I only mention this because I am seriously hoping it gets changed. Right now, Warsong Gulch Marks of Honor turn-ins are giving 2300 XP per turn-in. People are stockpiling hundreds of these via item restore, in hopes of spamming turn-ins to get 25 to 40 in less than an hour. While I'll possibly farm up to 20 of these, which is the inventory cap, I do not see myself farming hundreds and hundreds of these exploit experience gains for phase launch. While I do want to try and go for Realm First 40, I don't want to sweat this hard. It may be worthwhile for you to farm 20, but do this at your own risk. Number 5. Finish my Paladin. For those that don't know, Paladins are traditionally some of the best solo farmers in WoW. For some dungeons, Paladins are far better than Mages. While I do think mages will be the king of solo content in Season of Discovery, depending on what runes paladins get in the future, they could become an incredible solo farm class. I want a paladin alt prepared for that. Right now, I feel that paladins are a bit underwhelming. I still have a lot of bisque gear I need to farm, so it's possible this changes over time. Paladins aren't too far off from being insanely broken though. All it takes is one or two really powerful runes being added, and paladins will become kings of farming. I want a paladin alt on standby just in case. Okay, that's my list. I am planning on making a follow-up video right before the release of Phase 2, kind of letting you guys know how well I did with this. If there's anything important you feel like I missed, please comment down below.
Make sure you like and subscribe and have a wonderful 2024, you guys.